Hello students, welcome to our YouTube channel Roy Digital Children Teaching Center. Today we discuss about our new chapter that is Gulliver's Travel. It is adapted from Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travel and the theme of this chapter is Adventure, Imagination and Fantasy. Here we discuss everything in English language, word meaning, NCRT solution, text based question answers. Ok, let's start the story. When a person tells the story of his life in his own words, it is called an autobiography. Gulliver, a sailor, was once caught in a land of giant. This is how he described his experience. On the 16th June 1730, we discovered land. Our captain sent a dozen men with vessels for water, if any could be found. When we came to land, we saw no river or spring nor any inhabitants. I went on to explore. The country was barren and rocky. I turned back to join the crew, only to see them getting into the boat and rowing for life to get to the ship. Before I could reach them, I observed a huge creature walking after them in the sea as fast as he could. The water of the ocean reached only till his knees. However, the monster was unable to overtake the speeding boat. I turned back quickly and climbed up a steep hill with fields of barley on the either side and the cone rising up to 40 feet. There was a fence to pass from one field to the other. And now we discuss the new words. Captain means the person in command of a ship. Vessels means a ship or large boat. Spring means fountain. Explore means travel through an unfamiliar area in order to learn about it. Barren means land with no vegetation. Crew means a group of people who work on and operate a ship. Inhabitants means occupation and fence means barrier. Then it was impossible for me to climb because every step was 6 feet high. I was trying to find a gap in the hedge when I discovered one of the inhabitants in the next field walking towards the fence. He was of the same size as the creature chasing the boat. I was struck with utmost fear and astonishment and ran to hide myself. He called in a voice much louder than a trumpet. It sounded like thunder. Seven monsters like him came towards the field ready to reap the corn. They carried a reaping hook which was very big. When one of the reapers approached where I lay hidden, I screamed as loud as I could. The creature stopped reaping, picked me up between his thumb and forefinger and brought me closer to his eyes 60 feet above the ground. He looked at me with curiosity and blew my hair aside to get a better view of my face. He called his friends and gently placed me on the ground. They all sat on the ground to take a good look at me. I walked slowly backward and forward, pulled off my hat and made a low bow toward the farmer. And now we see the new words. Hedge means a fence or boundary formed by closely growing bushes or shrubs. Chasing means run after. Struck means hurt. Utmost means most extreme. Astonishment means a feeling of great surprise and wonder. Trumpet means musical instrument. Thunder means a loud rumbling or crashing noise heard after a lightning flash. Rip means harvest and corn means grain. Approached means come near. Screamed means make a loud high pitched sound. Forefinger means the finger next to the thumb. Curiosity means interest. Gently 
means with a kind manner bow means to express by bending the head body or knee and then i try to speak to them loudly in several languages each time i did so the farmer who picked me up held his ear very close to me but in vain the farmer took me to his house and placed me at same distance on the dining table which was 30 feet high from the floor dinner was brought for the farmer in a in a dish which was 10 feet in diameter the farmer's wife crumbled some bread and placed it before me in the middle of the dinner i heard a noise behind me it was the purring of a cat that was 10 times larger than an ox the farmer's wife was stroking him then entered the farmer's one year old son in the arm of a lady on seeing me the child grabbed me from the table and put my head into his mouth but in vain means unsuccessful diameter means a line segment through the center of a circle crumbled means break into small pieces stroking means move one's hand with gentle pressure over a surface grabbed means grabs and then i shouted so loudly that the baby dropped me i would have broken my neck if the mother had not held her apron under me later she put on her own bed and covered me with a clean white handkerchief i slept dreaming of my home my wife and my children and the story is adapted from jonathan swift's gulliver's travel and now we see the new words from the text bellowing means very loud noise inhabitants means occupation barren means land with no vegetation astonishment means greatly surprised crumbled means broken into pieces grab means here pick suddenly and now we discuss about the ncrt questions first topic is reading is fun why did the captain send the men to the land and the answer is the captain sent the men to the land to see if there was any water why did the men rush back to the ship and the answer is the men rush back to the ship because they did not find any river or spring but they saw a huge creature following them now choose the correct answer the giant carried a reaping hook because he was going to reap the corn number two they put gulliver on the ground to look at him because they had never seen such a tiny man gulliver was a sailor the next question is name the creature to whom you would like gulliver the creature is now extinct the word begins with the letter d and the answer is dinosaur from the text write the sentence that tells you the following the giant reapers were fascinated by gulliver they all sat on the ground to take a good look at me gulliver was a learned man i tried to speak to them loudly in several languages the farmer's son thought gulliver was a toy on seeing me the child grabbed me from the table and put my head into his mouth the farmer's wife was a kind-hearted woman later she put me on her own bed and covered me with a clean white handkerchief now we discuss about the next topic that is let's talk read the following sentences carefully the giant farmer's voice was as loud as blowing trumpet or the giant's farmer's voice was as loud as thunder when something is very cold we say it is as cold as ice this is because ice is very cold and now complete the following use the word given in the box first we see the words red slow black gentle warm strong sweet light and white 
as light as a feather as slow as a tortoise as sweet as honey as white as snow as strong as an ox as gentle as night as red as a road as black as a toast and as warm as a breeze let's see the next question use the above expressions to complete the following sentences the old man's hair is as white as snow his feet were as cold as ice the newspaper boy was as slow as a tortoise in delivering the papers i felt as light as a feather after exercise now create your own comparison for the following work in pair as tall as the qutub minar as fast as the cheetah as high as the mount everest as angry as a bull as tiny as an ant as brave as a soldier and the next question is there are many reason why something happens for example gulliver could not climb the fence because every step was 6 feet high so one of the giants coming towards him he ran to hide himself and all the three are reasons why gulliver was unable to climb the fence and now look at the pictures and discuss in a group why the following events happened you may find more than one reason for each of them here you can see that the play is cancelled why the play is cancelled let's find out the reason the actor did not turn up the group did not practice enough so they were unprepared a valid permission was not available for staging the play and here you can see the couple is enjoying a night walk the couple was enjoying a late night walk they went to spend some quality time together outside their home and they were walking to stay healthy and now we see the next topic that is let's write look at the following examples i was trying to climb over the fence when the giant saw me the farmer's wife was stroking the cat when her one year old son entered both the action were in the past when the first one was going on the past and the second one happened and match the following and write complete sentences in the lines below what was happening and what happened and the answers are i was writing a letter when my pen ran out paul was looking out of the window when he noticed a lovely butterfly when i met arun he was looking for his dog when ma'am said stop writing i was just completing the last answer the man was painting the wall when he fell off the ladder amit was doing his homework when the lights went out my mother was cooking dinner when the bell rang let's see the next question now complete the following suitably i was sitting in a taxi yesterday when it was raining he was cleaning out his covered when he found his old identity card i was parking the car when a dog ran out onto the road i was looking outside the window when the teacher walked into the room when we compare two things people we add er or more to the describing word when we compare three or more things or people we add est or most to describing words look at the following examples when first two are compared and when all three are compared the sailboat is fast and the car is faster than the sailboat and the aeroplane is the fastest of all next hitting a target is difficult Juggling caps is more difficult than hitting a target. 
doing complicated magic tricks is the most difficult of them all now complete the following in the same way using the word easy or strong skipping is easy jumping is easier than skipping walking is the easiest of all the dog is strong the horse is stronger the elephant is strongest now complete the following in the same was using the words or juicy or exciting the order may vary according to your choice apple is juicy sugarcane is juicier than apple and orange is the juiciest of them all rock climbing is exciting skating is more exciting than rock climbing river rafting is the most exciting of them all and the next question is correct the use of the describing words in the following sentences this is the simpler problem of them all this is the simplest problem of all which is the lightest of the two parcels which is the lighter of the two parcels he is cleverer than i am he is cleverer than me i like this the best of the two i like this better the flood become better as the rain increased the flood became worse as the rain increased the next question is punctuate the following sentences using capital letters like full stops commas question marks apostrophes exclamation mark wherever necessary let's see the answer dear sir i am sending you a photograph of my newest pet frisky is a bulldog and a very playful puppy by next summer he should be old enough to go with us on our long walks i am sure you are looking forward to seeing him I know you will like him. Warm regards, Sanju. Here you can see after greeting Samir, we use comma. And when we write the sentence, after every sentence we give full stop. Now we see the next question. Punctuate the following sentences. Next Wednesday, my sister Mita is going to join the State Bank of India. next wednesday comma my sister meeta is going to join the state bank of india full stop the dog wags its tail when it's pleased but a cat waves its tail when it's angry the dog wags its tail when it is pleased comma but a cat waves its tail when it is angry full stop When I went fishing I caught an old shoe a plastic bag and a bad cold When I went fishing I caught an old shoe comma a plastic bag and a bad cold Number 4 she fed the baby washed the dishes put the lights off and went to sleep She fed the baby comma she washed the dishes comma put the lights off and went to sleep was on team born on the 26th of january 1989 it's a question was on team born on the 26th of january question mark oh no the bus has gone oh no exclamatory sign the bus has gone full stop and it is a quotation so we give here quotation marks and now we see the next topic that is let's find out fill in the blanks a giant tree is redwood tree of california a giant bird is ostrich a giant land animal is elephant a giant water creature is blue whale a giant reptile is crocodile a giant aeroplane is yervas beluga okay and now we see the next topic that is creative writing you woke up one morning and found yourself in the land of drops 
write a paragraph describing your experiences there and how you get back home finally. You may begin like this. Everything around me looked different. Everything looked so small. I was standing by a river. The river was so small that if I drink it, I would be finished in one go. As I started to move forward to drink water, I was surrounded by many drops. Their arrows feel more like tickling me than pain in my legs. Seeing me laughing, they started to get scared. Then I saw many more drops coming in groups. They had very thick and long ropes in their hands. Thinking that they will take me away, I started running and reached in the front of the river. Not finding any way, I jumped into the boat and from there I returning to my bedroom. The text based question answers. What is an autobiography? When a person tells the story of his life in his own words, it is called an autobiography. Whose autobiography is this? It is Gulliver's autobiography. Where they caught? They caught in the land of giants. When did they discover the land? They discovered the land on 16th June 1730. Why did their captain send them to the land? Their captain sent them with vessels for water. How was the land? The land was barren and rocky. Why did the other crew members rush to the ship? Because a huge creature walking after them in the sea as fast as he could. So the crew members getting into the boat and rowing for life to get to the ship. Did the monster able to overtake the speeding boat? No. The next question is, where did Gulliver run away? Gulliver ran away and climbed up a steep hill with fields of barley on either side and the corn rising up to 40 feet. What is there to go from one field to another? There is a fence to go from one field to another. Why was it impossible for him to climb these steps? Because every steps were six feet high. How many reapers were there? There were total seven reapers. How was their voice? Their voice was much louder than a trumpet. It sounded like thunder. What did they reap? They reap corn. How did that creature hold him? That creature held him between his thumb and forefinger. Why did the creature blow his hair aside? The creature blew Gulliver's hair aside to get a better view of his face. Where did the farmer take him? The farmer took him to his house. Did the farmer hear his voice? The farmers could not hear Gulliver's voice clearly. What was the height of the dining table from the ground? The height of the dining table was 30 feet from the ground. What was the diameter of the dish? The diameter of the dish was 10 feet. What did the farmer's wife give him to eat? The farmer's wife gave him crumbled bread to eat. What was the age of the baby? The age of the baby was 1 year. Who is the cat compared to? The cat is compared with an ox. What was the child going to do when he saw him? On seeing him, the child grabbed him from the table and put his head into his mouth. Why was he not injured? Even though the child dropped him, as the baby's mother held her apron under Gulliver, that is why he was not injured even though the child dropped him. Where did he sleep? He slept on the farmer's wife's bed. What was he covered with? He was covered with a clean white handkerchief. What did he dream of? He was dreaming of his home, wife and his children. From where the story is taken? The story is taken from 
Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. Here we complete our video. If there are any queries, let me know in the WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp number is 9035304154. And don't forget to like our Facebook page that is RDCTC Roy Digital Children Teaching Center.